Then we get Daughters of the Dust by Julie Dash. So now a female coming into that rebellious, you know, LA Rebellion was largely a male thing, but now Julie Dash comes to it and tries to give the real story of the Gullah family uh, using their language and their, their conversation, which is really quite beautiful. And we move over to Spike Lee. I would argue that Do the Right Thing is kind of the ultimate American, African-American neorealist film looking at the, the trouble in his area. Um, again, due to poverty and then the heat and all of that that goes on. And I think it's important to look at Spike in the new uh, museum to the academy that they built in Los Angeles, which we finally got to visit uh, after the pandemic. They have a room for directors, and I would call this writer's inspiration. I'm really tired when they call it director's inspiration. <laughs> yeah, and he's a director, but you know what he got his only Oscar for? Writing. Writing. Let's just remember that. Um, they gave a couple of writers, uh, writers, yes, writer directors, rooms to show their inspirations. And you'll see right here, Eight and a Half and Rome Open City. The man's whole career is built around what he studied at New York Film Academy. Uh